Hello everyone, my name is Onelli Olivas and I work here at the Rockland Parks and Recreation Department and today we are going to make a holiday craft. It's going to be a Frosty the Snowman craft that we're doing. And as you can see, here's my example. I've already made his friends Santa and the little elf that go with it. We will upload the templates to our city website, the City of Rockland website, and you will be able to download and print them and use them and you can make all of them or you can pick your favorite one to make. So let me just go over the different supplies that you will need to create this craft today. So you're gonna need your scissors, you're gonna need some markers, you're gonna need some glue sticks so that you can glue all the parts for your little friends here. We also have some clothes pins and we also have some little googly eyes that you can put on your little friend so he can have little silly eyes. All right, so this is what our different templates look like. We have the Frosty template, we have the Santa template, as well as the Elf template and then the third one is their, their face, their hat, their body, and then we'll go back over the mittens, the boots, and we're gonna keep our, our Frosty the Snowman template out because we're gonna go ahead and color it. Then once we're done coloring, we'll be coloring the hat, the gloves, the boots. We're gonna color in his little face as well as we're gonna cut it all out. And if you need help from your mom and dad, go ahead and ask them for help with cutting with those scissors because you know those can be sharp when you use them. All right, we're gonna move on to coloring. I went ahead and I picked these colors, but you can go ahead and pick whatever colors you like for your Frosty. So, I'm gonna start coloring my boots. I'm gonna go with brown for my boots. All right, it doesn't have to be perfect, but try to stay in the lines if you can. If not, that's okay because we will be cutting these. Here we go. One little boot down. All right, we're gonna move on to the next one. Here we go. And like I said, you can use any color you'd like. Your snowman could have, you know, rainbow colored boots. He can have brown boots like mine. All right. Next, we will be coloring the mittens for our snowman. I'm gonna use red. Let's use red for the little detail there at the bottom. All right, I'm gonna move on to the hand part, which I'm gonna use green today for that. Because I think green and red are so, it reminds me of the holidays, so that's what I'm gonna be using. Oops, I went out of the line a little bit, but that's okay. All right, almost done with the mittens. Let's see here. Color it in, all right, done. Be sure to replace your caps on your marker so they don't dry out. Let's see, we're gonna do the hat next. I'm gonna do black for the hat rim. And then the top of the hat is gonna be black as well. And next, I'm gonna color the ribbon on my snowman's hat. I'm going to use red for that. Color it in. All right, perfect. Next, I'm gonna move on to his little face. As you can see, this is the face that I made for the example, and we're gonna go off of that. I'm gonna do little dots for his mouth. I'm gonna make him smiling because he's a happy little snowman. All right. Next, I am going to draw his little eyebrows. All right, we're gonna move on to drawing his nose. And I'm gonna use orange for the nose because he's gonna have a carrot nose. All right. All right, I did a triangle, and then I'm gonna color that triangle in. Here we go, there's that. And 
next, we will be cutting this all out with our scissors. And like I said before, be sure to have your mom and dad help you cut out if you are unsure. And to save us some time, I went ahead and I already cut our snowman. Here we go. I have his body already cut out. I have his cute little head cut out. Look, I even drew eyebrows on him so that you can tell that he's happy. And then I cut out his little boots. Here they are. As well as his mittens. There they are. As you can see, red, green, little mittens. And you can't have a snowman without a hat. And his cute little top hat. So now we're gonna grab all these pieces and glue them together, and we're almost done. All right, so first, I'm gonna glue his head to the body. So this is the body, and here's his cute little head. I'm gonna grab my glue stick, or you could use any kind of glue that you have around your house. Just make sure that your mom and dad are assisting you and make sure that you're using the right glue that is safe for you to use. All right. So I secured his little head on there. He looks cute, he's almost done. All right, we are going to grab our clothespins. So these mini clothespins come either in just a plain um, wood color finish, and you can color these with whatever color you want for the arms and the legs, but I already have some already colored for me, black and brown. So I'm going to glue my boots to my brown ones because they match. All right, so what you do is you have to make sure that you put the glue on the outside of the pin where you pinch so that you can pinch this other end onto the body of your snowman. Then that way he has arms and legs. All right, let's move on. I am gonna put a little bit of glue on here. Oops. Gotta get it on there good to make sure his shoe or his boot doesn't fall off. All right, that's one. Let's move on to the other one. My other one. Put more glue. There we go. I love making the snowmen. They're just so cute. All right, we are gonna attach his boots with the clothespin to his body like that. And you can put it wherever you'd like. He could be with his legs really close together, or you could just, he could just be silly like that. All right, so since we have our snowman almost done, let's go ahead and glue his mittens to his little arms. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna make sure that we put the glue on the outside of the clothespin so that we are able to open it and pinch it onto the body. So let me show you. We're gonna grab this, put some glue on there to secure the mittens. Here's my little mitten, there it goes. All right, perfect. So now, let's move on to the next one. Again, be sure to glue it on the outside of your pin so that you can pinch it to the body. All right, here's this. All right, now. Let's add this to our snowman's body. And we are so close to being done. Just wait a second, we'll get it. Oh, oops, gotta make sure his hands are on the right side. There we go, thumbs up, there he is. So cute. Now let's do our finishing touches. We are going to add his hat and we're almost done. All right, add some glue to that to make sure his hat is on here. There we go, and we did it. Look at our little snowman. And then one more finishing touch because we do want him to be, um, have some cute little googly eyes and they can move around and dance around as you're shaking him around. Let's grab our googly eyes here. All right, we're gonna put some glue on there. Gotta do it carefully because sometimes googly eyes are really hard to put on but we can do it, right? All right, there's one. Let's do the second one. 
And then if you need help in the, with this part, just be sure to ask your mom and dad, because I know these can be tricky sometimes. All right, and look how cute he looks. All done. I think we can make our other friends, look at all of them, they're so cute. And like that, you have finished your craft, and I hope you have a happy holidays from everyone here at Rockland Parks and Recreation.